Welcome back to the channel. This is definitely a different scene you guys are used to seeing me in. Just to give you a little breakdown, coyote season is kind of rough right now with all the crops grown up. Getting access to the fields is a little bit difficult with them being planted and everything, you know, three and four foot tall. We just aren't able to see the coyotes like we want to. I've been wanting to do these overlanding camping videos for a while and what a way to kick it off. I'm solo tent camping deep in the woods and I just made it through the first of yet another to come big huge storm here in Indiana. We just had 50 miles an hour. You guys can probably see some of the trees. You probably can't really grasp the intensity of the storm from the video but it got pretty hairy i stood outside for the most part just watching for fallen limbs and i didn't want to put myself in the tent and not you know be aware of something falling but once the bulk of the wind went through i was able to jump in the tent right before the big heavy rain come in started preparing supper there's no better piece that i can find other than hunting in general just being outdoors and sitting in a tent cutting up onions getting ready to cook supper on a fire i was able to secure my firewood before the storm come through and get it covered up and in the dry and then i brought some dry stuff with me but just being out here and being in the outdoors for me, there is no better life. It's what I live for. And by the grace of God, what I'll do the rest of my life is be outdoors and hopefully bring some positivity to somebody that's out there that don't have the motivation to get out. ATV, overlanding, camping, first edition. You guys tell me what you think. I just recently picked up this ATV for my daughter. And you guys know, if you follow the channel, that I run Polaris's. I have two UTV Polaris's. And uh, we just parted with a ATV Polaris and just picked up this Suzuki. I just couldn't pass it up. It had a lot of gear on it. And I recently just upgraded it, put some fuel cans on it for overlanding purposes. I really like it so far. I wanted to do this video. What about this little trailer, guys? This little motorcycle trailer. Loaded it down. Everything's dry. It's secure. I wasn't sure how I was going to do crossing the creek. It did fine, clearance-wise. Um, I know, you know, water, once it gets submerged into water, it'll probably go inside and get everything wet. But I was able to get through the water just fine. I'm not so sure about tomorrow morning when I leave out of here how much rain we're going to get tonight. The creek's going to be up. So that'll be interesting. At least I was able to get over here while it was dry. But just out here doing some camping, enjoying nature. I'm getting ready to get supper going. And looks like I'm probably going to have some chicken tenderloin stir fry, maybe some fajitas, something like that. And then in the morning, I'm going to make sausage and eggs, pepper jack cheese. You always got to have pepper jack cheese. If you guys like this video, make sure you let me know about it how i did first one camping wise and a lot more to come i want to do an overlanding video with the ranger the players ranger i've got it set up that second storm's moving in i'm hoping to get some supper cooked before it gets too dark i do got my night vision camera with me in case it does get dark and i have to cook later on because i am hungry i haven't ate yet i appreciate you guys stick with me we'll get some supper we'll settle in later that second storm's coming now tent's holding up pretty good so far we'll see how the night progresses stick with me
way to end the evening. I've been here for hours and hours trying to ride out this storm. I think for the most part it's gone through. Might get some rain tonight. The wind's changed direction. Of course blowing right towards my tent. But I'm going to sit here and enjoy my supper. Get this fire stoked up real good. Chug a couple bottles of water and enjoy this beautiful trip. I was definitely blessed that first storm that came through. I didn't lose my tent. I staked it down pretty good, but a lot of trees. I mean, I'm out here in the central part of the woods and just got complete cover from the wind. Thank goodness it got up to 50 miles an hour. I got on the news channel after it went through and talked to the fiance. She said it got pretty rowdy, which yeah, it did. I was in it. I'm gonna go ahead and put, I brought an extra tarp with me. I'm just gonna put this makeshift tarp over top of the tent before it gets too much later. And it's not gonna look anything pretty. I don't care if it does or not, but it'll just provide that second layer in case it really hammers down tonight. Comes a good monsoon and hopefully I can stay dry. So far the tent did well. It's the second time I've used it, maybe a third. I have not weatherproofed it, but it's done really well so far, but it's not gonna take a chance over the night, <clears throat> the long hours. and. Let's throw another tarp over here. Hopefully I can stay dry. Well, hopefully with any luck, that'll keep me halfway dry tonight. Kind of a little makeshift deal with a spare tarp. Always good to have one with you when you're out here doing this overlanding stuff. Pretty handy. Well, I just stoked up the old fire one last time for the night. We got another front blowing in. Looks like in the next half hour, 40 to 50% chance of storms all night, 40 50% chance of rain all day tomorrow. I'm hoping I can get up and get some breakfast going in the morning, get a nice fire going, have some eggs and some sausage. I'd hate to bust out some coffee and break camp down and roll out of here, but we'll just see what happens looking forward to a good morning breakfast ain't nothing like it 
We'll leave this lantern going. Got the fire stoked. The tent is as secure as it's gonna get. Four wheelers all tucked in. Trailers locked down. We're gonna crawl in the tent. Take it easy. Got about 13,000 steps today. Still on my diet, good and strong. We'll see you guys in the morning. God bless you. Normally I'd start the day out with some hot coffee, but here lately on the weekend, I've been drinking these Black Rifle Rich Mochas. If you guys haven't tried them. Express. Only on the weekends. Gives you a good jump start. Hits the spot. Yes, sir. Oh, what a night last night was. That other front I told you was coming in in the next 30 minutes ended up lasting throughout the whole freaking night. It hammered last night. And I don't know what condition the creek's going to be in this morning when we go to cross it but I'd say it's going to be a good time that's the only concern I got we're going to knock out some breakfast this morning some scrambled eggs sausage maybe make a little burrito with it chop up some onions enjoy this morning I'm going to break camp down and roll out
Well, breakfast is served. I don't know how it can get much better than this, guys. I mean, the weather absolutely hammered last night as far as that goes. If you've ever slept out in a tent with the thunder just freaking rolling, you know where I'm at this morning. I was up two or three times. Went to bed a little bit later. But I have really enjoyed myself. And I appreciate being out here. I appreciate what God has gave us. I appreciate the outdoors. I encourage everybody to get out and live your life in the outdoors. I can't think of a better place to live it. Gonna go through breakfast here. Break the camp down. And you're gonna have to stay tuned because we got to get across that creek with this little trailer and I'm not sure how high that creek's going to be because judging by the amount of rain that I heard coming down last night, I'd say that creek's going to be rolling. Cheers. Hmm.